Hi, I hope you're doing awesome. So the question we are seeing today is sum of two arrays. That is, we are given two arrays which actually represent two numbers and we need to sum them. Okay, so let's take an example. Suppose three, zero, one, seven, and let me make it very large. Okay, and one, zero, one, seven. Suppose these are the two numbers given and I need to sum them. That is seven plus seven, 14. This is three, this is zero, and this is four. Need to sum them like this and return this answer or print this answer okay okay so there are a few cases to be considered like i'm not privileged that um the uh, the length of the arrays is gonna be equal there is no condition like that it can be anything i need to sum in a general mathematical sense suppose um the extreme case can be triple nine plus one right the the numbers are of an equal length now the carry is gonna be moving forward every time i sum suppose 9 plus 1 is 10 then it's gonna be carry again 9 plus 1 is 10 it's gonna be carry again 9 plus 1 is 10 and i'll carry it the last also so this is an extreme case like extreme edge case i need to take care of that also now let's see how do i actually plan to do that okay so suppose the example was uh, 3017, actually I forgot it, 11167, suppose the example was there. So what I'm going to do is make an array of with the name answer, right? And I'll also maintain two variables, that is, uh, first one is carry and the second one is sum, okay? So carry will be actually starting from zero it will be initiated to zero and sum uh, it will also be initialized as zero but uh, actually what it will carry is carry plus suppose this was um, a array and this was b and the iterator to this was i and iterator to this was j and i hope you know why i'm starting from back right because that's how we sum two numbers a of i plus b of j Okay, so for the first case here, I can see my sum is carry that is zero plus seven plus seven that is equal to 14, right? That is equal to 14. Now, sum is equals to 14 at this moment. Now, what I do is I set my carry equal to sum by 10 that is equals to 14 by 10 equals to one right and sum is equals to sum modulus 10 that is equals to 14 modulus 10 equals to 4. now i'll dump this sum into the answer array that is 4 counts here now for the next iteration where i moves to this and j moves to this what happens is sum becomes carry that is actually equal to 1 here now it's updated to 1 1 plus 1 2 plus 6 8 so the sum now becomes 8 now carry gets updated to 8 by 10 right 8 by 10 that is equal to 0 and sum gets updated to 8 modulus 10 that is equal to 8 so in answer we dump 8 here so i think it's it's making sense now that's how we'll move forward and also i'll dry run the code so you'll get a better understanding let's see some of the edge cases such as uh, the one i took triple nine plus one what will happen in this one is there are of, uh, the, the arrays are of unequal length. So we'll, in, uh, we'll um, believe that here zero is placed somehow. Somehow we'll maintain that. I'll show you in the code how uh, it's being done. So now, now they are of equal length, right? Now, now we can actually handle the case very well. Let's see the code now. Okay. So I make object of the scanner class. Scanner scn is equals new scanner system dot in just a second. Yeah. So int n1 that will actually correspond to the size of the first array. Yeah. Equals to scn dot next int. Okay. And I'll make an array uh, int a. Is equals to and it should be n1 actually and that must be like one yeah a is equals to new int n1 also int n2 is equals to scanner dot 
an extent and b is equals to new and b right here the two arrays are made but actually let's see the input format a number n1 will be given first and then n elements of the first array so i need to take the input here so for and i is equal to zero i is less than n1 and i plus plus a of i is equals to tanner dot next right also for the n2 here i'll make it in two i'll make it b yeah okay so and it should be it should be n2 right of course it should be n2 right so i think the input is done fairly well now let's try to add it firstly i'll take two pointers that will be set to the end of the two arrays and also third pointer which will be set to end of the answer array but before that let's make the answer array int answer is equals to new int so what should be the size of the answer array that is the larger of the n1 and n2 right the larger of them whichever is the larger so like n1 is greater than n2 then it should be n1 or else it should be n2 right this is ternary operator is nothing way back now let's take two video uh, three variables n i is equals to n1 minus 1 n2 is equals to sorry should be j actually n2 minus 1 and also k is equals to answer dot length minus 1 because i don't know uh, what it's gonna be because if n1 was bigger then it it would have been set to n1 or else n2 so i'll fetch it from the answer itself right now i have my variable set now also int carry that is c is equals to zero at first while a is greater than equal to zero that is while i do not exhaust k that is while i do not traverse through the uh, the answer array what i'm gonna do is int d is equals to zero d will always start from zero uh, whenever i move to the next digit okay so d okay so if i is greater than equal to zero okay if we are in a valid i right if somehow the example was one sorry two plus 49 right so i would have been set to zero but for the next one i would have uh, gone to an out of bound so we'll need a check and we'll only add this position if it is valid right if it is not valid it will be default as zero because we are not adding it so so uh, you see how we are handling this condition we'll put a check that if we are on a valid index getting it let's see if i is greater than uh, equal to zero then uh, sum plus equals okay so i have taken it to be d right let's take it sum sum plus equals a of i okay also if j is greater than or equal to zero just a second sum plus equals b of j and also uh, it will consume carry sum plus equals to carry right now we'll update carry and it should not be carry it should be c because i've named it c so carry should become sum by 10 sum should become sum modulus 10 and i'll dump it to answer of k is equals to okay and what i need to do is now is i will get decremented j will get decremented and k will also get decremented and in the end if my carry is still greater than zero then system dot out dot println carry and now for int x in answer system dot out 
sorry now dot and fill in x right so this was the need of the question if i haven't made any index error it should work okay so it's getting accepted uh, let's try to submit it it's getting submitted now i don't think there is a need for a dry run because we actually thoroughly understood it but still i'll do it So after taking the input, what I'll do is, um, let's take an, take a small example, right? So let me take, a, take an example. That is 129 plus, well, let's see, let's see this example. So I will be set to n1 minus zero. n1 should be three here because the length of the first array is three. So I will, I will be set to two. Here, i and j will be set to n2 minus 1 that is 1 because the length of the array is 2 here it says j now let's put j out here yeah okay and now we'll make an array which which was equal to the greater of the length did i miss that line somehow so it should be 1 and 2 because 0 1 2 3 3 is the length and 3 should be the length of answer uh, in that case now my i is set to here my j is set to here now carry is actually initially zero while k is greater than equal to zero k is here at this moment sum is equal to zero now if i is greater than equal to zero i is certainly greater than equal to zero here then sum becomes nine if j is greater than equal to zero then sum becomes nine plus two eleven and then sum adds carry in itself that is zero then carry is updated to sum by 10 that is one sum is updated to sum modulus 10 that is one we dump uh, sum into k uh, that is answer of k that means one comes here and then i um, gets decremented j gets decremented and k gets decremented right so it's a i yeah i gets here now j gets here now and k gets here now c is one so and sum gets uh, initialized to zero again for this iteration sum plus equals to a of i that is two that is two sum plus b of j that is three sum plus carry that is one here it becomes four now c becomes sum by 10 that is zero sum becomes some modulus 10 that is 4 again and it's get dumped here okay now let's see i gets here and j gets here now j becomes negative because it was 1 it was 0 and now j is minus 1 right so we'll we'll skip this line here let me show you how if i is greater than or equal to 0 yes it is greater than or equal to 0 then sum becomes 0 plus 1 1 right j is not greater than or equal to zero so this line will never run now sum plus equal to c c is zero already now c becomes sum by 10 that is zero still zero and sum becomes sum modulus 10 that is one and it gets stopped here and that should be the answer right 129 plus 12 should be 141 9 plus 2 11 2 1 3 4 and 1 right, right. 141 is the answer and i hope you got how the algorithm is working now thank you very much for watching the video and it, it might be a little lengthy for you now but if you think it carefully you know think it on a copy and pen and you'll surely get it uh, and also practice the code once once you write it by your hand it'll be easier for you to understand that so thank you for watching this video if you like the video kindly hit the like button and subscribe to the channel thank you very much